What will suggest eight and five. We need to draw some lands here. Two of them, actually. Good thing we didn't discard this. Thinking about his options here. Um, you know, I really swing in with his 3-3 three, three at this point. So as long as he draws land every turn, he's going to win this race. Assuming that he keeps a card back. And I have two past it. Actually, I don't believe I did have two. I did not want to take seven damage because of his Arid Mason. So I just passed a turn waiting to draw a land. That's what I'm doing. I'm waiting to draw a couple more lands so I can uh, just get rid of his Shepherd. I'm debating whether I should kill his Geoped or uh, his Thief because of the potential of having to discard more, but I choose that. I don't want the landfall game to get ridiculous, and I didn't draw land. So, the only thing to really do, I can do, is... Uh, Pass the turn since I'm waiting. Draw some more lands. He passes the turn and I draw Lacerator. There's no point to play it. Pass the turn. We're playing a little bit of draw, go, draw, go. I'm suspecting that he's holding on to a few lands. You have chosen. And uh, he's got something here at the end for some reason. Okay, so he's narrow escaping my hook master. Or his hook master, so he can tap um, my creature. That seemed pretty good. So he's going to get in for 10, maybe? Maybe 12? At least 10.
Hey, look at that land. So since it's tapped anyway. I can play either the Bailoth or I can play the Chosen and the 1-3, uh, but I don't think that's correct. I really want to play my uh, turn tender, but having a 4-4 four four just seems pretty good. Really, my only play here is play the Bayloth. Apparently, I've elected to uh, go with Mises Chosen, though. And maybe uh, thinking about keeping the uh, guy back for regenerating, or the mana back for regenerating. That's really the only reason why I would play Mises Chosen there, rather than uh, the Bailoth. Since he is playing Black Red, he could have removal. So uh, apparently I'm playing around the removal. Remember, this is a uh, voice narration, so. He did have removal, but it's uh, hit his hand, which cannot hit that. I go eight. So I definitely misplayed there and played uh played the wrong spell. Well, maybe not, because I'd rather have the Bailoth than a two three. But oh well. Better not be going to concede game. Oh. I'm getting ready to concede game. Because he can swing for three. And he can do Arid Mesa, which will make it five. And if he plays a land, makes it seven. And if he swings in with both of his creatures, that's game. So that's what I'm thinking about. Things are not looking pretty good for me unless I top deck a land. I have to discard here, so. I have to show him two cards. Once again, I think I misplay here. Should have shown him the crocodile, I think, because. The Bailoth uh, can block, the Crocodile cannot block. So that probably is another misplay there. He's obviously going to choose a Bailoth here. Because there's no reason for him to choose a Vampire Lacerator. Because right now it is a very dead card in my hand. Considering I have to do 10 damage before it even gets anywhere. The last reader that is. So apparently he did not draw lands because he's not just swinging all. So we'll see what happens in the next video.